at the peak of their conditioning. Ong Lut and Sung is 31, Big Dash is 32. The Burmese fighter just a centimeter taller. When we break down their strengths, we've got a slight striking edge that's gonna go to the champion, Big Dash. Go back. For the one championship, world middleweight title. That's Ong Le Unsung, Judge. the challenger. Judge. That's Vitaly Big Dash, Judge. the champion. You ready? you ready? Ready, go! This fight brought to you by RCTI. A measured first few seconds. Explosions could happen at any moment. The challenger in the black shorts, in the army fatigues, the champion, Big Dash. Ung La told me that he feels that Big Dash keeps his head in a stationary position and it exposes a huge hole so that maybe he can capitalize with that big right hand of his. He certainly does have a big right hand. They both have power in those fists. Big Dash wants to outwork Ung La and just really put pressure on him because he doesn't feel he's conditioned for this particular fight. The first offensive move of the night, that kick, a scything kick to the stomach from the Burmese fighter. It's a measured start, isn't it, from both men. Caution is the watchword. Not sure that Big Dash has really thrown much at all at this stage yet. He's got plenty of time. Don't forget, five. Five-minute rounds in this one. Big Dash has landed two pretty significant leg shots. Uh, that's really only been stri strikes that he's thrown. Hasn't really thrown his hands, hasn't really set up anything. Well, that knee landed to the side of the rib cage there. Big Dash looks in tremendously good shape, doesn't he? Really carries this weight extremely well. Ung La looks very relaxed, good movement, bobbing nice and light on his feet. Big Dash looks a little stationary, a little flat-footed. Nice body shot there from nice. Big Dash, though. Really dug it in, didn't he, to the midriff. Super left hand. Not a punch you see so very often in mixed martial arts. Left hook to the body. That one came in a forward motion rather than outside in. What a slapping noise that made. Not sure that it connected too much with the head. There was a lot of arm in that, but that one got through to the stomach. Very accurate work there from the Big Dash feet. That clinch from Big Dash. Ung La is able to push it off, moving nice and relaxed, pushing forward, controlling the center of the cage. Neither men willing to get overly excited here. Waiting for their moment, biding their time. This one certainly is a marathon, not a sprint. 25 minutes is a long time to stand in front of an opponent. Nice right hand there from Ung La. This is his 30th fight, so he's definitely been in there with some very high-level competition. So this is no, you know, new thing for him. He's very relaxed and composed, but the champion is the less experienced fighter. Yeah, one year older, but Ong La Unsung vastly more experienced. A little bit of gamesmanship there from Big Tash. The crowd seems to get behind him on that one. 1.30 left in this opening round. Action! Yuji Shimada calling for action. The crowd around us just gaping open mouth. You dare not take your eyes off this one. We've seen the power that both men have exhibited in contests gone by. 70 seconds left in the opener. Spins. No greens. One minute left in the first round. One minute. Ongla and Sung, if anything, is the one that's moving forward. Neither fighter really looking to gain much ground. Final 40 seconds. The 
leg kick from both fighters. There's that spinning attack again. I like how he set it up with the inside leg kick. He went after the inside leg kick, stepped forward. That helped set him up without the high disguise. That spinning back kick a little bit better. Didn't really telegraph it as much like Big Dash just did there. Intriguing, fascinating, somewhat tepid this opening round though. He's just waiting for that big explosion to come. Final 10 seconds. There's a kick to the body. And some heavy blows coming just in the dying moments of this opening round. Big elbow from Big Dash and another one. And Ong La and Sung certainly had his bell rocked just before the bell at the side of the cage signaled the end of the opening round. That seems to be where Big Dash has the biggest advantages from that clinch position. He's able to control the, the distance, and there's that spinning side kick that was landed by Ung Lang Song. He set it up really nicely. I'm betting that that welt on the right hand side of Ong La Un Sung's forehead came from the exchange in the dying seconds of that Hush. first round. Elbows Hush. flying in, and forearms from Vitali Big Dash. But Rich remarking on how composed the Burmese fighter looks. The same could be said for Vitali Big Dash, certainly. Big Dash looks a little bit more relaxed this round. He's got his head moving a little bit. As he's a little bit lighter. He's looser, isn't he? Took but the right hand there, though. That was a sneaky right hand landed by Ung La. Both fighters exchange leg kicks again. Those seem to be the most significant strikes for both fighters is attacking the legs. Just kind of ducked underneath those punches as they came at the same time and they became glancing blows. Big Dash had a little mop of his brow just to make sure that there was uh, no damage there. There isn't anything. Man, Big Dash throws some heat with those kicks, huh? Now he's getting to work. Brings in Ong La Unsung's head and then the knee to the body. Pressed up against the cage now. See, inside the clinch is where Big Dash can possibly drain some of the energy out of Ung La. He's going to be able to you know, make Ung La work a little bit harder because in the stand-up exchanges, Ung La Sun's very relaxed. Now, three times there we saw hand in the face, elbow to the face from Ung La and Sung, and at some stage it looked as if there may have been a stray finger in the eye. Good spirit, good sport. Vitaly Big Dash isn't going to make a big meal of it, and we resume without much of a delay at all. Yeah, with these open-fingered gloves, it's very dangerous to reach out and try to touch your opponent's head. You're usually just trying to create distance. Right hand from Big Dash there caught the Burmese python. Ong La and Sung showing us that he's very durable. Looks like he's got a solid gin. He'll need one. He's got a big frame and a big neck. All manufactured to take these big punches, but... No one can withstand huge punches all night long. Looks like Big Dash is trying to bait him in. He's trying to get him to unlock to try to, you know, initiate some sort of exchange so he can counter with that big kick that he's throwing. He's setting up that right kick quite nicely. Snappy, isn't it? Boss. Sends it with speed. Left jab from Ongla and Sung takes a knee to the head and then gets flung towards the cage wall. He's trying to bait Ung La in so he can initiate a clinch, possibly go for that Muay Thai clinch, the palm, and start dropping some knees, and he likes that elbow as well. Seems to me that Big Dash fancies himself as a stronger man in the clinch body to body. We'll see. So he's just able to land a little bit more of the strikes from the clinched position. A little bit stronger. He looks like he's setting up a knee here. Yep. Again, Ong La Unsung's hand in Big Dash's face. Look for him to perhaps throw that forearm in there. It is again exactly what he was doing before. And again. It's a nice oh, short elbow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, boss, boss. Boss, take care. Big Dash with the left hand flush in the face. Goes downstairs to the body as well. Both men working hard on the cage wall. Inside the final 100 okay. seconds of this okay. second round, Yuji okay. Shimada wants okay. them to the center of the cage. Okay. Big Dash looks up okay. at himself on the big screen. Satisfied with his work so far, it's close. Both fighters are conserving their energy very well. They're not expending a lot. They're not getting overly dramatic in their attacks. They're not really exchanging big flurries. They're very composed, very relaxed. Big Dash seems to be relaxed a little bit you know, more in this round than he was in the previous one. 
Yeah, that's, that's very much been the story of the first nine minutes. Both men very much ready and prepared to go the full 25. Watch out. No headbutting. No headbutting. Well, many would tell you it's unlikely to get that far. And there we are again, hand on the face, elbow from Ong La and Sung. Takes some punishment to the body and a right hand to the chin. And a left hand to the jaw as well. Big Dash backs off, knowing that he's done some good work there on the cage wall. Angla and Sung does not look phased. Final half minute of the second round. Right hand from Angla and Sung. Didn't quite right land with all the heaviness he wanted. Again, Big Dash able to turn Angla over, press him up. Really just land these short strikes, not really doing a lot of damage, but both players are scoring in this position. Oh, that's a good nice solid elbow. On elbow, wasn't it? They're both working hard from that position. The Burmese fighter perhaps slightly more so, and I think that'll probably tot up on the scorecards. He's working hard inside there. Yeah, very good round for both fighters. You know, we see, see a lot of action in the clinch. Unglaz dropping those short elbows, and there, there's a little bit of force see it, but that's where Big Dash is doing the best work. He's really controlling the clinch. He's able to press Ungla over, and then he's still keeping active with the short strikes. Nice little exchange there to end the round. Rich, how would you break that round down? Well, I'll tell you what the interesting thing here is that you can tell how strong Big Dash is every time they clinch. He's like turning Angla, putting him into the cage, and I mean, not just turning him into the cage, but almost throwing him into the cage. I, the, the lead that, that Angla had, according to me, at the end of the first round was very marginal, but Big Dash has done some really good work with his dirty boxing, the elbows from the clinch. They're both landing shots, but from the clinch, I believe Big Dash is landing way more. At the end of this round, I give Big Dash the lead. Not a, not a big lead, but he's in the lead. It's close, yeah, it's close. But Rich gives it to Big Dash right. so far. Right. Okay. That's after 10 minutes with 15 right. to come. Remember, it's not round by round scoring. We look at the whole fight when we decide who the winner is. Big kicks thrown by Big Dash. <laughs> The spinning kick connected that time, but only around the shoulders. Oh, that's a big one, and that rocked Angla and Sun, no question. Follows up with the right hand, and he has enough presence of mind to go for the trip, Angla and Sun. But he's taking a lot of punishment on his back now. Punches coming in, there were elbows too. There's a lot of unanswered blows to the head now, but... Angla Ansan gets to his feet with tremendous strength, almost goes down with the trip. No question that it should be stopped at this stage because Angla Ansan is in full control, although he certainly was rocked. Strong enough to get back up to his feet. What strength, Mitch. What composure shown by Angla Ansan to keep his wits about him when he just got rocked. He landed... Some Big Dash landed some huge shots there as he attempted to finish the fight, but how composed was Ung Long Song there? Reminders of that tremendous fight that Big Dash had with Igor Spirit for a moment there. Exchange of blows that don't really come that close to finishing the fight because these two men are so durable and strong. Now, this is a very smart move on Ung La's part. He's keeping the posture down of Big Dash. Now he's going to able to regain his wits, make sure his head is clear. Uh, but oh, Big Dash is trying elbow. to fog oh. it up with those elbows. His head bounced off the canvas, and there's some blood dripping on the canvas, as you can see. You can bet that's coming from Ong La and Sung's head. The sharp point of the elbow will do the damage. Looks like it's on the left-hand side of the Burmese fighter's face. Hard to see exactly where the damage is. It could be the ear, it could be just on the upper cheek there, but Vitali Big Dash will go to work and see if he can cause any more damage or possibly even finish the fight. But for the first time, Angla and Sung looks now as if he's got a bit of an uphill struggle. More than capable of coming back, but it's difficult now. Another big forearm coming in from Vitali Big Dash. 
Ung Long Sung is very tricky off his back. You can see his hips pivoting from side to side, looking for any opening that he's have. But Big Dash is landing some huge elbows just to kind of stifle the ground attack of Ung Law. Active guard, he's trying to swivel his hips from side to side, looking for a possible sweep or submission. But Big Dash is following his hips as Umla tries to pivot his hips out. You can see Big Dash kind of follows the hips with him. More. To, so he's not able to create any angles. Elbows and forearms from Big Dash. There it is again, two very big elbows to the top of the head. Angla and Sung really is taking quite a battering from that left elbow. There's another attempt, didn't land flush that time. Right hand comes down. Angla okay. and Sung is in trouble now, Mitch. He's got so much stop, to do. Stop. Time stop, time stop. Now, time stop Yuji Shimada Jim, Jim, calls for Jim, a Jim, break Jim, in the action. Jim, I think he wants perhaps the doctors to have a look at Angla and Sung's face, and that uh, seems an eminently sensible move. I think the cut is affecting his vision. He's wiping hey, his hey, eyes, hey, he's hey, trying hey, to get clear, especially when you're in the ground, when the, it's flowing into the eye. Yeah. You're not going to be able to see very well. And of course, well. your arms aren't free to wipe it away, so you're fighting blind. So. Vitali Big Dash on the cusp of really taking control of this fight now. So Angla an Unsung. Timeout. We've got an injury timeout, Rich. How is this going to work? Well, this is a different kind of timeout here because they actually brought the doctors in to look at the cut and assess that. So this isn't a five-minute timeout where there's a foul or anything like that. The doctor's going to assess the cut. It didn't look like the cut was actually obstructing the vision, but the blood was. So now that they have his face cleaned up, restarting the fight. They're going to get into the position they were in, or something approximating it, when Yuji Shimada called for a break in the action. Keep going. So, the Burmese fighter's been cleaned up. He's got his vision back, but for how much longer? You can bet that Vitali will go to work with those elbows and forearms once again. You're seeing evidence right there. Final 50 seconds of this third round, and then it's the championship rounds. If we get that far, there's a lot of damage can be done in these final 40. Big Dash is just so strong. He's just holding unlined position. And as soon as he creates a little bit of space, those big elbows start coming down. Another huge pair of blows, one from the left elbow, one from the right fist. Then he works the body, comes back upstairs to the temple. This round has completely changed the fight. Big Dash has done so much damage, and it all started with that big head kick. That sharp point of the elbow has done so much damage. When Angla and Sung's corner get him on his stool. They realize they've got a lot of work to do to patch him up. His head looks clear, though. What I can tell you just from looking at Angla and Sung's face in between rounds there is that the damage seems to be underneath the eyes. Now, as Mitch pointed out earlier on, when he's on his back, very likely that the blood would run into his eye. When he's standing up, not so much. So, in the stand-up, he should have relatively clear vision. That, of course, is only one aspect of damage done to your face. Vitali Big Dash will see that, and he will take encouragement from it. Angla and Sung knows that after that costly third round, he needs to do something a little bit special here in the fourth. Ah, but really Big get the Dash opportunity. goes right back to his strengths, gets the takedown and starts delivering. Now he's got him in half guard. So now he's actually starting to trying to pass the guard of Ung La and work into a better position. Pops the hips up, but Ung La does a very good job of regaining that butterfly guard. Now he's back almost into full guard. Yep, now he's got full guard, pulling Big Dash back down, but man, he's got to open up his legs and create more movement, maybe use the wall to try to